Hello, and welcome to the ILM Comprehensive Testing Laboratory. The Helmet Certification EC 22.06 has finally been published by the EU. This video will explain the difference between DOT and EIS. First, what is the DOT Safety Certification? The DOT Certification is a mandatory safety certification for helmets in the US. This is a common certification for most half helmets and three quarters helmets. Now, what is the C22.06 certification? DC certification is the safety certification for countries located in the European Union. Because the test is so rigorous and multi-dimensional, EAS is considered an extremely safe certification. This version of the standard was issued in June 2022 and is very popular. Today, we will show you an ILM Z500, one helmet going through an EC safety test. The ILM Comprehensive Helmet Testing Laboratory can directly conduct global mainstream safety testing experiments. Currently, our engineers are doing a fixed point. Fixed point tests indicate whether the helmet is safe if pressure is put on the front, back, left, right, and top of the helmet. After determining which point is being tested, the tester must determine the degree of conventional impact and run a speed test for the front head of the helmet. The helmet is dropped from a distance of about 3 meters 10 feet. Now, the helmet is inspected for damage. The helmet has not sustained extensive damage and the testing can continue. Every test has data associated with it. This test showed a force of 150.1 g. These statistics are below the required test parameters of 275 g specified by EC 22.06. Next is the curb impact test. This test is different from the DOT certification test as the test requires the right side of the helmet to endure an impact from a height of 3 meters 10 feet. Look at the test data, which reads 113.1 g. Actually, EC 22.06 requires an impact force of 275 g so the helmet passed. Then there is the apex impact test. Like the others, this test uses conventional impact speed testing. To complete the test, the helmet is pulled up to about 3 meters 10 feet and dropped. Now, the helmet is inspected for damage. Let's take a look at the conventional impact test for the back of the helmet. Okay, the helmet is lifted 3 meters 10 feet high and drops. Wow, the test result display is 147.1 G. After so many rounds of tests, like the sample in my hand, the foam inside of the helmet has actually absorbed the impact energy and has deformed. But getting a result like 166 G means that we can move on. Now we have the chin bar impact test. For this test the helmet is pulled to a height of about 2 meters 7 feet and dropped. Again, the helmet has not sustained vital damage. Passed. Now let's test the right side of the helmet with a high speed impact test. The helmet is pulled up to 4 meters 13 feet and drop. The parameter displayed by the test instrument is 256 G. The helmet is holding up. Our Z500, one helmet has performed really well. You can see that all data for Z500, one has the high standard values required by the EC 22.06 requirements, including high temperature and low temperature detection. The stricter testing standard of EC 22.06 means that different sizes and colors of the same batch of helmets must also need to be tested. The ILM laboratory will test every color and size of the Z500 one helmet. The four shipment, a quality inspection engineer will conduct more rigorous sampling inspections according to product specifications. Only when the pass rate is 100% will ILM send out our products. These packing boxes outside are the discarded helmets that we smashed while testing. The more rigorous the test, the safer the product. 